What's up, Conquer community? Coach Chris here with this week's Conquer at the Whiteboard. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to warm up for a heavy open workout. On the board, I put the four pieces that I typically like to see in this type of warm up, and we're gonna go through each in a little bit more detail now. So to start, nice and easy is our general prep. With our general prep, what we're looking for is to get blood flowing and the body moving. We can do this one of many ways. We can do a circuit or a series of unloaded movements. We can incorporate a cyclical modality like a bike or a rower. Uh, the end goal is the same. We're just trying to get the body slightly more prepared for activity, starting off nice and easy. Then we go to our dynamic prep. In our dynamic prep, we want to incorporate uh, movement prep and activation work specific to the exercises that we are gonna see in the workout. Now, in the case of uh, a workout that has a heavier lift, I'm going to focus a little bit more attention on prepping for that lift. So take the deadlift, for example. Great opportunity and great place to include hip activation work, get the adductors prep, do some lightly loaded hinging movements. If we were dealing with something like the snatch, then I would wanna do some scat prep. I'd wanna do some lightly loaded overhead work. Uh, Towards the end of this piece of this dynamic prep, I'd wanna do some of my barbell positional work and anything that I would do to prepare my snatch with just the barbell because that's gonna build very nicely into my intensity build. But regardless, the point of the dynamic prep is to lay a good foundation and create a nice stable base, specifically in this case, for whatever that movement is, that heavier lift that we are going to see in the workout. Then, I go down to my intensity build. In my intensity build, what I'm looking to do, say it's a snatch, is maybe over the course of 10 to 15 minutes, I wanna build an intensity. We don't wanna look and get anywhere close to any max attempts. I like to say a tough, in the case of a snatch, maybe a tough double or triple. Tough means challenging, but we shouldn't be missing any lifts. And also we wanna make sure that we are giving adequate rest between each set just to make sure we're not doing too much. I mean, the goal here is to get the central nervous system ready to tolerate uh, and be better, pre better prepared for the demands of uh, the actual workout. But we don't wanna, again, do too much. So keep that in mind. We wanna get the central nervous system prepared, uh, quality with each of our, our attempts. And if we can avoid misses, that would be uh, perfect. And then we go down to our specific prep. With our specific prep, this is where I'm going to start to create some short or modified versions of the actual workout. Uh, and with that, when looking at the, the lift, the heavier lift that I'm going to see in the workout, I want to, in this piece, I want to match intensity if I can, depending on what the workout is, but we have to keep volume low. And, and where we can, we wanna build and rest. So maybe it's two to three sets of whatever my modified version of the workout is going to be. Again, we're trying to match, get close to intensity with the, the heavier lift that we're gonna see in the workout, but we have to keep volume low. We can't do too much that's gonna take away from when we actually get to the workout, but it's gonna be important for the central nervous system that we are getting at or close to that same intensity. In this piece, it's also a great opportunity to start figuring out pacing. Um, you know, we can start drawing how we feel uh, and get a better sense of what our plan and strategy should be for the actual workout. So guys, that's what I got. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a great week uh, and I look forward to talking to you guys again soon.